Today we're going to go through my EDC electronics module, which goes in my EDC backpack. For those of you that have just stumbled across this channel, my name is Robert, also known as Nordic Brit, and I make videos on prepping, survival, outdoors, camping, DIY, and other kind of projects. Uh, so if you like the content, please do subscribe, and then you'll see some future videos. Some of you will see that my EDC module for electronics looks quite large. It is. But due to what I do for work, which tends to work around network servers and other things at a school, I tend to have to have a need for a lot of cables and other items which I carry with me every day and tend to use every day. There are also some other items in here which I think you'll find quite interesting. Let's take a look. My EDC electronics module centers around the use of an iPad Pro. This is a really great device considering the size and it's quite powerful. I also use an Apple Pencil from time to time. Really great for those handy artwork sketches. I have the smart folio case and the iPad itself doesn't weigh very much and the size is really convenient for taking backwards and forwards from work. Next is the bag. The bag is actually a fairly cheap bag smart bag which I got on Amazon three years ago. It's been really really useful for me and is made of really good quality material. The actual material itself is quite durable, contains a carry handle, the zips are also really good and the case itself has a kind of semi-rigid feel to it, really great for storing those items. Inside you can see I have many cables here, lots of places to store the cables as well as some smaller items. On the right side you can see a pouch, a place to store SIM cards and SD cards, as well as some places to store larger cables. Inside the main compartment you can see on the left there's a pouch. The pouch is perfectly large enough to store an iPad Pro, although I don't always use it to store it. The pouch is also large enough to store a Goal Zero, which I use when I'm camping. On the right side, you can see I have a number of items here, hard drives and various batteries. We're gonna go through those in a moment. The first item is an Apple USB-C cable for the iPad Pro. The second is a RAV Power USB-C cable. I use this quite a lot. I do prefer this over the Apple one. It's more durable. The third item is a micro USB cable. This is a USB-3 cable for my external hard drive, a USB-C to USB-3 cable, a USB-3 to USB-C adapter, Next, we have a Toto padlock. I use this when my bag is going through customs or security. A USB-C to headphone jack for my iPad Pro. A Kingston 32 gig all metal USB stick. USB 3. A Vanya micro SD and SD card reader. USB and USB micro. Finally, a headphone splitter. This is useful for when traveling with some of my members of family. And that's what's contained in the lid of my EDC electronics module. For the larger cables, I have a lightning to USB-C cable. This cable is also braided, very durable, very long. This is a mini USB to USB-3 cable. This is an odd cable, but this is used for a certain item in my kit. That item is an eTrex 30 by Garmin. I love this device, but the input is also a mini USB, so I need to keep a cable for that. The eTrex 30 is a device I've had for quite a long time. Stay tuned for a review on this. In the small pockets, an SD card adapter. In the small zippered pocket, I have replacement nibs for the Apple Pencil, as well as some wired headphones, just in case the Bluetooth ones run out of battery. And those are the items contained in this part of the bag. As you can see, there are various other areas to put extra stuff if I need be. In the semi-rigid compartment of the EDC module, we have a Seagate 1TB USB 3 hard drive. I use this quite a lot. The size of this Seagate hard drive is really, really good. I really enjoyed this and I've used this for a number of years. Next, we have one of my most used items, a RAV Power 26,800 mAh battery. It comes in this nice soft case. I really, really like the RAV Power products. They're really solid, they're really good price and very durable. This one has an indicator to tell you how much it's got. It has a micro USB, a USB-C type port, as well as two USB 3 iSmart inputs. Here you can see the specifications, 26,800 mAh. Next, we have a very unique item. This is a Tactica Hexbit kit. This kit was backed on Kickstarter. I'm really, really happy with the quality of this product. It's really lightweight. It contains a number of bits in there, as well as some spaces for extra ones. It also contains an extension rod, magnetic, and it's very durable and very easy to use. I like the way this product looks. It kind of looks like a small magazine. This next item is one of my most used items. This is a travel adapter, which I ordered on Amazon. It's by a company called Clever Trips, not a big company, but the build quality is really solid. It contains EU, UK and US plug sockets, as well as a USB-C charger. You slide the plugs out using these sliders and they click in place. 
and then you put them back in by pressing the release. There's also a fuse as well as a spare fuse inside this little socket and four USB ports. The adapter also came with this handy little carrying case. A hyperdrive iPad 3 hub, which I use quite frequently with my cameras. It's very small and it's really lightweight. And this was also backed on Kickstarter. It has a USB-C port, micro SD, large SD and USB-C, as well as a headphone jack. It also contains a HDMI port. The kit itself comes with an extra adapter if you've got a different size case for the iPad. I don't really need to use this, but I do keep this just in case. This is a RAV Power Wi-Fi hub. This acts as a small battery bank, but the main purpose of this is to actually provide Wi-Fi for various devices and media. You can plug in hard drives and SD cards into this and then share it across a local network. This has been a really useful item. I've had this for a few years. One of the primary reasons of this hub is to use it with this hard drive. As mentioned before, I think RAV Power makes some really great products. I've had this one for about five years now and it's in really good condition. This is my waterproof box, which contains SD cards. This box contains a library of various prepping items, as well as SD cards for my different cameras and recording equipment. Everything in this kit fits in really nicely. It's the battery bank, RAV Power again, my Seagate hard drive, a RAV Power hub, the Kickstarter hyperdrive for the iPad, the travel adapter, the Tactica Hexbit kit, as well as my SD card library. A couple of items I use frequently with this kit include this Goal Zero Nomad 7 solar panel. This gets used along with this USB battery charger, which is used for some of the devices in this kit. I've had this Goal Zero now for a number of years and it's really held up well, as well as this Xiaomi Yi action camera. The Xiaomi Yi cameras are really good, they're not very expensive, and if you're not afraid of breaking anything, then at least you can plug this onto your mountain bike. As shown earlier, this Etrex 30 is also part of this kit, but not included in the kit, but it's used frequently when out. Well, I hope that everyone enjoyed having a look at the EDC electronics module that I carry in my EDC backpack. Stay tuned for future videos on my EDC backpack. I'm just in the middle of editing those and I'll upload those as soon as I can. If you have any comments, I'd love to hear them down below. And please do like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help support the channel and let me know what kind of content you like. And if you have any other ideas of what you think might be interesting to add to my module, please do leave a comment below. As always, most of the products that I include, I will put into a link in the description below so you can actually see how much these items cost, where I get them from. And I will see you next time.